I'm Army Vet, and welcome to today's video, The Warren. We're going to be doing a run through. Any combat profession should be able to do this in under 25 minutes without any real difficulty. Head back out and the straight up the ramp key into here the is room watching the, the video hall. a couple of times, getting the strategy familiar, and then run it. Simple as that. Remember to hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, leave a comment because it helps the channel grow. Enjoy the video. Have a great day. First up, we have to get to waypoint negative 559, negative 3733 on Tantooine and talk to the escapee. Once inside, you're going to follow the hallway all the way down to the first room. Through the first room, dragging any bad guys that follow you into the second room. And then kill them. Once they're dead, head through the door on the left. At the T intersection in the damaged Droidica, take a left. Search the corpse and collect the turret sequence data disk. Type the code into spatial because you're going to be using it later. Head back out and straight up the ramp into the room at the end of the hall. Collect the letter off the corpse. This is for the compassion badge. On the next corpse on the ground, you're going to pick up the master control room key. The same thing in this storage locker. Open this mag seal container and collect another master control room key. Open this metal chest and collect the last master control room key. Head out the door, and when you get to the Droidica, take a left. Follow the hallway back out to the main computer control room, and take the door to the right. In this room, you're going to have to defeat several rogue droids. There's no purpose for this in the actual quest you're doing, but they're going to be there and they're going to aggro you almost immediately. Once the fight is over, you're going to take the door to the left as you came in. In the room at the end of the hall, you're going to pick up the turret deactivation code. You're going to type this into spatial as well, and you're going to have to say it out loud when you get to the terminal to turn it off.
head back out the room, through the hall, and into the main room where all the rogue droids were at. You're going to take your second right. Defeat the probe droid and take the elevator up. Follow the hallway into the first room. Take a right. Once you're in the control room, you'll have to defeat a scientist and some droids. Once you've defeated all the enemies, you'll see pass key terminals down four very short hallways off shooting from the main room. All you have to do is double click on them. You do not have to go down to the actual terminal itself. Head back out the way you came and take the elevator down. Head straight out into the main room. You may have to defeat some scientists at this point. Once they're defeated, you're going to take the door to the immediate left. When you get back to the main computer room, you may have to defeat a few enemies, but you're going to take the door to the left and head back to the broken droidica, take a left, and head into the room where the corpse was. This elevator is now active, so you're going to take it down. Exit the only door in the room and follow the cages all the way around the large room till you get to a door that will be on your left. Once you go through that door, take the door to the right. Then take the door to the left and follow the hallway. On the northwest wall, you're going to see a data terminal. This is where you're going to pick up an evidence disk. Head back out the way you came. Head straight across the room and take the elevator down. Once you're in the second computer control room, head straight across to the door in front of you. Enter the left side of the room and go through the door on the north wall. Take an immediate left, enter the room, and double click on the terminal on the back wall. Exit the room and take a left.
After defeating the Hurtons, continue straight and follow the hallway. Take a right and head down the ramp. Take the door to the left. In this room at the bottom of the ramp, you're gonna to have to destroy the debris. So just default attack it until it blows up. Follow the ramp down, enter the door, and then you're gonna to talk to Merla. She's the one you're gonna give the letter to, and this is gonna be your compassion badge. Head back out the way you came in. At the top of this ramp, take a right. Kill these two enemies and then take a door to the left. In this room, there are gonna be a bunch of scientists you have to kill. And then on the right hand side, you'll see a terminal. This is where you're gonna pick up your next disc. Head out the door the way you came in and take a left. Head straight ahead and enter the room. Kill the two enemies, and on the east wall, you're gonna see another data terminal. You're gonna pick up the next disc. Head back out the door you came in, and go to the left. You're now in the third computer control room. There's gonna be a bunch of mutant hurtins and a few Imperials in here you're gonna to have to defeat. Then you're gonna take the elevator to the left and go down. Exit the elevator and go left. Then take your immediate right. Defeat the ATST, then head to the doors in the back of the room. There are actually gonna be two smaller rooms and inside is going to be a container, and in that container you're gonna find a reactor control rod. You need both of them.
Once you're out, take a left. In the next room, take the elevator to the right and go up. This will take you back to the third control room. Once you've defeated any enemies that are there or respawned, take the door to the left. Follow the hallway, take your first left, and go down the ramp. Once you defeat the lead singer of Right Said Fred, go through the door. Defeat Dr. Nag and take the door to the right. Turn to your right and down the wall of ways will be a data terminal and you're going to pick up your next disc. Head back out the way you came. At the top of the ramp, you're gonna take a left. In this large room on the opposite wall in the center is the door you're going to go through. Here comes the rest of the band from Right Said Fred. Into the room at the end of the hallway, and on the right-hand side wall, there will be a terminal. Click on this. This will be the first of the lockdown overrides for the core. Head out of the room and take the immediate right. In the back of this room is another door and this is where you're going to install the reactor core rods. When you come out of the reactor room, you're going to take a right. 
Follow this hallway into the huge main room and then go to your right. Hug the wall. Take the door to the right, head down the ramp, When you enter this next room, you're going to take a left. Instead of running around the whole room like I did, you can just go to the right and enter this door. This next part is optional. You do not have to defeat this guy to get your badge, but he does sometimes drop something decent, so I always fight him. Head out the room and go through the door straight in front of you. And on the left hand wall, as you enter, there is a data terminal and this is the last disk you're gonna need. At this point, you're always gonna wanna check your data pad to make sure you have all five disks. Head out of the room and take a left. Once you enter this room, go to your left and go through the door. Take the door to the right. At the top of the ramp, go through the door and you're gonna to go to the door on your far left. Take the hallway to the right, go through the door and through the cafeteria. Go to the left and take the elevator up. Exit the elevator and go right. You're now back in the large room with all the cages. Follow the path all the way around to the door to exit the room. Go right and take the elevator up. Take the door to the right, follow the room around to the broken droidica, take a right again. Follow the hallway back to the first computer room and take the door to the left. Head straight across the room and up the ramp and out of the warren. Twenty-four minutes, forty seconds. Not too shabby. Now we have to head to Thede to turn in all the evidence disks and get our badge. The closest shuttle port is going to be shuttle port C. Port 
Once you enter the palace, you're going to take two quick lefts, and there's going to be an Imperial agent there to turn in the evidence. There you have it, your Imperial Hero badge. The Warren is now complete. I hope you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful to you, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and leave a comment because it does help the channel grow. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be the Rebel Theme Park. Enjoy your day. See you next time.